Robbie, what's my name? Papa. Yeah! Say louder. Papa. Do you love Papa? Yeah. I love Robbie. I love Robbie. Hello, welcome back to Daily Diaries. Um, here for another week, week nine, wow, can you believe it? And yesterday was Halloween, when you're watching this, but it's not been Halloween yet. So, Robbie, what are we gonna do today? Say it louder. Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Yes, we are, and what are you gonna do? Are you gonna help Papa get the seeds out? And louder! Louder! I can hear you! Okay, right, let's get to this de-seeding. So, first of all, we cut off the top, don't we? To make a hole in the top. Okay, see. Robbie's I... gonna see, Robbie's gonna see. Don't worry, Papa's not gonna cheat you out of anything. But it's very sharp, so Papa has to do this bit. Okay, Robbie? Very sharp. And what happens if you touch something sharp? It can hurt, can't it? You cut your finger. Huh? 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 The inside of a pumpkin. Oh, yeah, go on then, Robbie. See. So what you have to do is you have to take all of this off and put it in the bowl. Okay. Can you do that? Wow, there's so much. So it's all been carved out, hasn't it, Robbie? It's what? A one, two. Yes, you got orange, your green. Orange, green. That's right. We got an orange one and a green one. So Papa's gonna cut out this face now. Does that sound good? Okay. Right. Cut the mouth up. Cut the mouth. You know, cut it out. It'll be good. Promise. I know. Probably lots of people are going to be having kittens about the fact that I'm cutting using such a big knife. But it's easier to do it with a bigger and sharper knife, so you don't actually hurt yourself. And we're going to put a candle in it, aren't we, Robbie? Yeah. I'm okay. You're okay. Good. I'm glad. Okay, Robbie. I need your help. Would you be able to help push the mouth inside? Do you love your little pumpkin? Yeah, the pumpkin heavy. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's got a candle. It's got a candle in it, that's right. Can you spin it around so Papa can see? Turn it around. Heavy. Just spin it, turn it on the table. But keep going, keep going. Papa, yeah, there it is! Perfect, should we go downstairs into the bathroom and try it in the dark? Yeah. Ready? <gasps> wow, Robbie, come and have a look at this. It's a pumpkin! <laughs> is that cool or what? How cool is that, Robbie? It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. Oh, you're recording, Robbie, you know that. Why, don't put your finger on the left. Oh, you're zooming in. Hello. There. Yeah, you're putting your fingers all in it. I don't think you're meant to do that. Can you see Papa? <laughs> yeah? Sticking with the Halloween theme, look, Robbie's got a little, a little Halloween costume. He's gonna be a devil. Cause Robbie, are you a little devil? Cheeky little devil. I've just cut out these little um, things to make some Halloween bunting. We've got ghosts. What, what's this one, Robbie? Or are you more interested in the paint, aren't you? We've got skeletons. We've got ghosts, we've got pumpkins, and we've got a witch! Ooh! Are you excited, Robbie? Are you going to do some painting? Ooh, yeah! Wow! That's some clever painting, Robbie. Oh, Robbie, you've done amazing here. Oh, careful, you don't want to break them. Look at all of these creations. Were you going to eat very it? Very nice, Robbie. It wouldn't be very nice if you ate it, would it? So you've come to the end of another week, and I've got another little plant baby. I feel like I've shown it on my Instagram, because I also made this little crochet pot that it's in. But anyway, look at these little direct... Look at these little decorations that Robbie made. How cute they are. I mean, I cut them out, but he's been doing the little painting on them. And then we also put some more over here on this side. How cute are they? What are you doing? You did a wee wee? Yeah. Did you wash your hands? No. 
Do you think you should go and wash your hands? Yes, please. You go wash your hands. Thank you. What's it? Tiger. Although in terms of we decided to get the pots and pans out just as I do a little bit of thingy. It's cool, you know, it's cool. You be careful with that stuff, okay, Robbie? Are you organising Papa's cupboards? I'll fix it, don't worry. I'll fix it in a minute for, for Robbie, okay? This week in terms of training has been, um, it's been pretty good actually. Everything's kind of coming back together, preparing to put all my 10 meter dives back up because there's like different parts of the season where we're doing different things. At the moment it's very much building up all of the skills and preparing my body for the impact of 10 meter that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> Um, more often. So, but it's exciting because things are coming together and I'm excited for the year ahead. I mean, I don't know what it's gonna hold, but at the same time, I'm excited for it. At the end of another week, you know what that means? It's time for the question and answers. Hopefully I'll add a bit of auto-tune on it. Robbie, yeah? what question should I answer? Should I answer question number one, two, or three? Two and three. Two and three? Yeah. Okay. Robbie's little voice is just the cutest, most sweetest thing. Can't believe you're back from Turkey already. Those two weeks seem to fly by. And yes, you absolutely have to sell your knitted trunks to charity. They'd make a fortune. Well, maybe I should do that. I mean, I don't quite know how that would all work. And maybe I do, a, ooh, maybe I do like a little raffle or something. I'll have a think about that. And I'll have a little ask around about how that might work. And then maybe next week, I'll, there'll be like a little raffle link that people can go to. This is a good question from Cheryl Merritt who says, have you ever been in competition and felt this isn't working for me today? If so, how do you change your mindset to enable you to keep get going? I mean, of course, there's been many times where I've been in competitions and you, you know when you just have one of those days where it's just not coming together? I mean, it happens sometimes in competition and it is the most frustrating thing, but you have to keep digging, you have to keep fighting because it's not over until it's over. There's been many a times when I was young, especially when I was really young, I would dive and I would make mess up and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, well I'm out anyway what does it matter who cares and my diving would just keep going down and down and then down the line someone messed up a dive and if I had just kept more concentration I could have like made made a higher finish so for me it's just about making sure that you keep fighting all the way till the end it's not over until it's over so keep fighting because you never know what can happen you can only control yourself you can't control what anyone else is doing but if you're doing the best that you can every single dive that's all you can do Next question is from Eileen Harsono. He says, how do you balance time with diving, being a husband and dad, and editing YouTube videos on top of that? When it comes to work-life balance, if you like, I think every parent has, or well, all parents have different ways of figuring it out. But I think it's definitely given me a, a sense of perspective about no matter how my day is when I'm at training, when I come home, it is like, I mean, he is just like the most amazing thing. I mean, he's just gotten jelly out of the fridge. It's a brain jelly. What is that, Robbie, that you got out? Green jelly. Green jelly? No, green jelly. Green jelly? Yeah. Well, we're gonna eat it tomorrow for Halloween, aren't we? Because it's a brain. And I think just being able to come home and like be with him, and I'm with him on the weekends and the mornings and in the evenings. He does go to nursery as well, so, and he's absolutely loving that. I was a little bit nervous about, you know, nursery. It's always like a, an attachment thing that I think parents feel when they first send their kids off to nursery. He's been absolutely loving it, and just seeing his development since then has been incredible. And it does have time for Lance as well. We try to do date nights every week where like one of us will cook and create kind of like a little activity that we do, whether that's painting, whether that is uh, watching a movie, whether it's like, I don't know what, like random things that we do. Uh, but we try to do that every week to keep things exciting. And with editing YouTube videos, I have the amazing Seb who is well, watching this slash editing this as we speak. So my editor Seb um, edits and cuts these things together because like you said, it's very time consuming to be able to sit down, edit, and do all the stuff that I'm doing at the same time. So these videos are edited by Seb and he is, he's great. Uh, as you can tell, I mean, if you like the videos, then you like it, like Seth's editing. But it takes a massive weight off my shoulders in terms of time so that I can spend more time with my family. So now is the top comment. Robbie's little papa melts my heart. I mean, it melts my heart too. Robbie, what's my name? Papa. Yeah! Say louder. Papa. Do you love Papa? Yeah. I love Robbie. I love Robbie. I love Papa. 
Robbie, what do we sing? Rain on... Papa. No, not rain on Papa. Rain on Robbie. So, because that wasn't really a question, I'm going to go to the next one as well. It says, when you're away on training camp, what kind of person are you and Lance? Do you text, call, or FaceTime together? Uh, who misses uh, each other the most? I mean, yeah, of course, we text all, we text all the time um, and stay in contact and we FaceTime every night. Sometimes a few times a day, especially to see little Robbie. So yeah, we're in constant communication and I think we're very much used to traveling here, there and everywhere all the time. So to be able to, we kind of got that nailed down, I would say. And also when I get back from a training camp, it's so nice to see Lance and Robbie again. It's kind of like, it's like you miss them and then you come back and it's really exciting. So I think it really does help with like the relationship as well, I think. Well, there we have it. That was week nine, I think it's week nine, of Daily Diaries. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up. Comment your questions for next week and make sure you subscribe because we'll be back for week 10. Oh, he wants to put the dishwasher tablet in the dishwasher. Robbie, can you say, Subscribe to Papa's channel. But can you say see you next week? See you next, see you next week, Dad Robbie. And say subscribe. Subscribe, Robbie. Subscribe to see Papa. Subscribe to Papa. <laughs> say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Say it's Christmas now. Christmas now. Santa's coming. Santa's coming. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, I love you. I love you. I love Papa. Oh, I love Robbie. <laughs> I like Papa. Right, anyway, until next week. Bye. <laughs>